York, and you could actually see white caps, which means it's quite windy there. Um, how worried is a pilot when you talk about wind over New York City? Well, you can see they have a very high profile, so any crosswind would, you know, obviously push them to the right or left and make a landing more difficult, also make an approach more difficult. But they have flight rules that would, um, you know, I would say if the winds were too high, they have the forecast, they would know that and they wouldn't go. So the flights, the winds are within limits for this flight, so I'm sure they're pretty confident not to worry. Okay, do we have the NASA transmission? I'm, I'm asking my producer negative, okay, because um, we just don't have that transmission just yet, but what a beautiful sight and what a beautiful takeoff. Eileen, it looks so lumbering taking off. It didn't look like those powerful takeoffs you feel when you're inside of a plane. Well, I think now when you look at this 747 with a space shuttle on top, that is a huge flying vehicle right there. So it looks like it's going slow, but it's actually going quite fast. If you were looking at a small airplane going at that same speed, it would appear to go faster. So there's a little bit of an illusion here. I would imagine that they're um, over, they're probably approaching, if not over, about 150, 200 miles an hour at this point. Eileen, thanks. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with much more and show you some more spectacular pictures after a short break.